right, let's skip forward. Backwards. Skip backwards. Activate the backpack. Nearly kids. Going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. So she's always called him Joey. My baby boy, growing up so fast. Girl, would she still nickname him after his grandpa? Wouldn't be that bad actually, since it ends in A. Joey, Joey, Julie. Sounds cute. It sounds so cute. Why don't you marry him? Uh, jealous. Oh, yes, so jealous. Again. A glass bottle of pickled cucumbers. Holy crap! My mind's totally blown! You're pretty easily impressed. <laughs> clock. Oh, well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. That's the memento. What's the last memory link? There. Window. Dusty pile of animals books sit here. No... No memory link for that? <coughs> Where's the last one? The mum. Six moves. I'm gonna go with trusty old diagonal. All the hard ones seem to be that. Alright. There we go. Six. You got what I mean. Onwards! Smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that?
that's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction with the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. <clears throat> that is so annoying. What a shame, I was actually looking forward to it. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Holy crap, how long is this game? Here I am thinking I'll be able to finish this before I go to sleep. <laughs> Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. I, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon with your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world? Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is pre <laughs> All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically logically consistent way and then when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood the machine will generate your new life one where the desire dictates your behavior the result of that would then be written to the real john so you see even if we satisfy you you amelia read only program I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believed that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. 
Is that what I truly am? What was that? the hell? Ah, all of our night's work. What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. <laughs> Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. <laughs> Line up. Two matching mementos in the edges to transfer the registered desire. <laughs> hey Eva, check this out. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, that is so awesome. So how do we make this match? There we go. Oh, you don't have to match it all the way. Ugh. That should have been a lot easier than I made it. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hun. Still the heads. Oh, there we go. It's the same setting as his real late accessory. Memory. Accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They're exactly the same. It's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is. What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? This is all exactly the same. How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him too.
Well, wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there's any changes. It transferred successfully sh for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if this desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate? From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This isn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for some ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, There's a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more, uh, je ne sais quoi. I don't even know what that means. To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go and see if anything's changed with John. I need to traverse through John to check the results. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Lily? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I remember that happening. Something must have changed. Nothing in there. Hey, don't squeeze. Wow. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May, <laughs> May I have your attention, please? As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. 
And I am here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy. Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chill chillin' at the backside of the moon. Well here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could even be you. Or you. Or perhaps you. But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. <laughs> and did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... <laughs> also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for the light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. <laughs> what? And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> yep, that's sure to work. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you. But I suppose it was a blatant enough for this. Hmm. I do try pretty hard. Are you going to see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. <laughs> Face plant. Deuce. Hey. Don't get dis discouraged. I'm sure there's still things to be done. Such as, well, well, can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. But you can afford the Lunar Trip Lottery! <laughs> if you sell this house, you sure can! Oh god, wow. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we rarely see... <laughs> Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? <laughs> it's true, for both you and your spouse! <laughs> Free pony rides in space! Oh look, wedding! Good for you! But here's a riddle! Guess where you should go for your honeymoon? <laughs> That's fantastic. God, what's this one gonna be? River? Oh, what are you doing? Dag, Navic, Glass, Slippery. Johnny, Chuck, Chuck. 
What the cucumber? Phew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? <laughs> Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. <laughs> what movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role in it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But of all the things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Hmm, don't have much time left. <laughs> 